No holding back, no separate stones, no broken promises, no busy tones. Just what it takes, just make believe. No one belongs to anything. I see the lies, I see the lies. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Friday, where the week, the, the Friday before the great eclipse happens. I got all the people here for to talk about stuff. Julie Davis is here. I am here. This is a moment of peace for you. Oh, look at your shirt. I don't have, have a new shirt today. I don't have, I'm in a camera on yet. Hold on a second. Right, put Stand a by. camera on it. I mean, let, me, let me get it real quick. Because I'm waiting. It's waiting. Awkward. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> let me get rid of this. Uh, there we are. There you are. Look at that. We got it. That's great. Terrific. Rustic elegance. Really? And she just got them on Wednesday. Nice. And she has another one that's like a Texas with like the phases around it. So she's got a maybe a more manly one. I don't oh, know. I don't want to really? speak for gender. But All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a cool shirt. It is cool. How many are you gonna collect all of them or what are you gonna do? So I rarely wear a t shirt and I keep finding myself wanting to buy yet another one, but I've made myself stop. Right. They're just gonna go sit in my closet probably. Uh I just realized that this camera over here is like knocked down. But so it'll be knocked okay. down. Okay, cool. Yeah, weird. Oh. Uh post um, the show for a minute while I yeah, fix that. So we created um a tiny um very poorly put together catalog at the office. I yeah. just did snippets of all the Facebook posts I've seen because we're down to only three X shirts. Three X so shirts. So I'm literally like, we only have a three X, but here's the people and this is what they look like. Cause usually when you tell them someone Gibson's head shirt or whoever, they want to know what they look like yeah. and you're trying to remember. So right. uh, I'm calling it a catalog. I think it's Makes a good catalog. Fancy. There's a lot of cool things happening though this weekend. It's a super thick catalog, if I'm honest with yeah, you. Yeah, and you and all the shirts out there. all the gear that's out there. And we have mm -hmm. Doug uh, here who's going to talk about it. Hey, Doug, uh, I'm the what? Are there new pearl snaps over there at the, the Gibsons? Um, <clears throat> I don't think there's new ones yet, but there's new ones coming out shortly. Game Guard is re releasing some new colors here in the next month. They're or two. having uh, pearl snaps too. Game Guard is. They have some pearl snaps, yeah, but it's weird because they only have them in one style. That checker that I wear once right. in a while—that's yeah. mm -hmm. the only one they have with pearl snaps. Which I'm filing an official complaint. Okay. Why? Well, because well, I like the pearl snaps. You're man. the man to do oh, it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, I was uh, looking yeah. at the uh, the fact that I get these ads for Howler Brothers mm -hmm. and Poncho. Mm -hmm. And they're like ninety dollars. I pass. speak a different language than me. Yeah, I've never it's men. It's man speak. Yeah, that's man why speak. I don't man know speak. It. Man speak. Man clothing. Yes, man yeah. clothing. Yeah. So we've moved on from jean jackets. Yes, yeah. jean jackets, the whole thing. So yes, we've moved on from all of that. <laughs> She's that's an awesome jean jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Look at She's that. She's sporting the jean she jacket can wear today. It. I, can't, yeah. uh, I do know that. I have big long monkey arms, so those never fit me right. Oh really? Like, yeah, my, they come up here. Mine have to roll them up. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Problems. Let's see here. I think we might have a technical problem. Oh, of course oh, we no. do. Let me see. My camera's a yeah, lot. You're freezing up. on my end. I'm freezing on your end? Okay. Uh, we'll get back to it. All Andrew right. Gay, Texas Country Advisor, joins us here. Uh, tech, Andrew, uh, you take it away. You're in charge I of the show. I haven't seen Andrew in so long. I know. I know. We never see Andrew anymore. Hey, hey, I, I wait, really wait a minute. Wait a minute, Andrew. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're having some technical difficulties. That's what the problem was. It's the eclipse. You got to line up the yeah. ones and zeros. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the weird solar power. Yes, it is the weird solar power. We okay, we're good. Go it's ahead, probably. Andrew. What do you got going on? Hey, sure. So, yeah, Andrew Gay here, independent financial advisor with Texas Hill Country Advisors. We offer securities and investment advisory services through Next Financial Group, member FINRA, SIPC. Today okay. for financial markets was Jobs Day here in the U.S. So, the number of payrolls that were added for the previous month of March came in at 303,000, which was a good bit above what was expected. The unemployment rate ticked down one-tenth of a percent from 3.9 to 3.8%. Uh, so that signals strong continued strength in the labor market. Uh, so on one hand, we have this strong economy. And frankly, I think over the last three years, none of us thought that we were gonna see the amount of growth that we did after the pandemic, uh, but it has sustained. And even with this backdrop of higher interest rates from the Fed, it is it is still not quite waning or cooling off uh, the way that the Fed would want to see. So markets are up this morning. Uh, the Dow, S&P and NASDAQ are on track for a losing week. But I think that, you know, today, 
we have a chance of things turning out like yesterday where the markets were positive most of the day and then at the very end of the day they sold off and closed negative so I think that we might see some more of that today because this is good economic data on one hand but on the other hand it means that interest rates might stay higher for longer which uh, over time can can damage so to speak or cool off the the uh, the economy um, so some of the things that are firing on all cylinders right now like the job market uh, wage growth consumer spending uh, we hope that those kind of show more easing uh, as we as we get into the summer months. So there was already talk yesterday of a couple of Fed officials that that were doing speaking events that came out and said, look, my opinion is that if we see continued hotter than anticipated inflation reports like we have seen so far this year in 2024, then we don't really see a reason to cut interest rates uh, possibly for the entire year of 2024. So like I mentioned Wednesday, if those expectations start to become the dominating narrative in markets, we will see the stock market adjust for that. In other words, sell off a little bit to kind of reprice the expectation of, of the Fed might not be cutting interest rates as soon as they had thought. All right. Andrew Gay, Texas Country Advisors, joins us here. Are you going to be camped out in your office for the eclipse? Uh, what are you going to do? No, but I think that, you know, we have such a great view. I think that that wouldn't be the worst place to, to see that. I don't know. Let me see if I can do this. I don't know if it can focus. Oh, yeah. See, so your, your view is fantastic. I, I mean, it would be, I think we could see the sun, you know, at 1.30 p.m. I think it would be a great spot, but we are definitely planning on being at home. All right. Uh, just in our backyard, man, we're going to be cooking out, hanging out. Um, I know my neighbors are all doing the same thing, so we're just going to have a big old eclipse powwow out there in, on the on the golf course. It sounds great, Andrew. How many dogs will be at your event? Yeah. <laughs> Um, at least two, at least our two. Uh, <laughs> Get out of here. You usually have a so. fleet of dogs running around. It's ridiculous. So, uh, all yeah, right. when we get together with the in-laws, the, the number su substantially increases of the number of dogs that we yeah. have following us around. So, uh, Kerbal Pets Alive, by the way, uh, a AKA the precious, the precious Kerbal Pets Alive, according to Harley Blue, uh, reporting that Kerr County Animal Services already has found a dog from Colorado running amok. They had chipped. Uh, Those and damn Colorado dogs. Those Colorado can't, dogs. Can't That's a long control. run for him. I know. I know. So there you go, Andrew. Uh, we'll bug you later. We'll see you. Well, look, I'm doing a show on Monday. Yeah. You going to come down? Uh, maybe. I might could do like a remote thing that morning. We um, won't be on the show. If, if yeah. anything. So. That's all right. That's all right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be in touch. I'll be in touch with you. Just depends on. We have someone coming down, staying in our guest room. I think Sunday night. That's going to be here Monday for the eclipse. So I'll, I'll be in touch. I'll communicate with you. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Andrew. We'll see. You, uh, we'll see you again right, on guys. Monday. Oh, you 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 yeah, think you're right. not going to be on the show on Monday? You'll be on the show. I have ways, Julie Davis. Oh, okay. I have. I'm powerful. I won't be at Pine and Plow. Plow no, no. On I have the ability. <laughs> I have the ability to mix in remote okay. guests. Okay. In fact, we can uh, do that. We can do that. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. In fact, I just want you guys to do it in the lobby. I want to see all the people who are bothering you. Yeah, we'll you. see if it's I was going to do the show from your facility, but I, I think Change I'm going to. I, I think so. I think I'm just going to be camped out here, do because it. you know, if the, if the it just depends on the weather forecast, really. So, which direction do I? Is it starting it's, from? So, so the sun's going to come, up, it's that, come up this way, right? So by midday, it'll be right overhead to the left of the parking lot here, and then the moon will come across this Kay. way. And so, of course, nobody's 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 looking at what I'm doing. Right. Right. But just trust me. That I just the back, know which the direction I'm behind, supposed to be looking. Behind well, they your say head. you can see the shadow coming yes. if you look the right direction. Yes, yes, you'll see the shadow coming. So, like from where you're going to be looking at by 1:30, if you look to, I would say, um, the south, you okay. probably would see you right. see it very, very perfect. Because nice. it's going to come from the south. The shadow. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So from where you're I, at, you today I was like, I really should look this up and learn some more <laughs> yeah. before Monday, because I'll forget by Monday. Come on, um, you still got a couple days. I know. Odds are I'll still forget. But Jen Whitler's here though, folks, and she's an engineer. Uh, are, are we talking? Are we making sense to you, Jen? Or are you? Perfect are you, sense. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I'm a science engineer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in fact, she's you know. controlling the moon in this whole process. Yes. So, uh, yeah. what, what, she she wanted did not want to be on the show. Why are you here? Uh, I am talking about stars. Are you? Okay. Oh, there you yeah. go. Show your show your little poster. <laughs> Where am I looking? You're at? right there. Uh, hold, I'll let Julie hold it above her face for okay. a second here. So above Julie, my face. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So this, Can you see it? Yes. 
Okay. So I'm with the Kerrville Public School Foundation, and we just opened up uh, nominations for the KPSF Shining Star Award of Excellence. And so if you know anybody in KISD, an employee of KISD, uh, excluding administrators, um, you can vote for them, nominate them for this Shining Star I Award. I think you should give one to Brent Ringo, the superintendent. Do you know how gigantic that guy's kids are? <laughs> but he's an administrator. He is an administrator. But he's going to need help. His, uh-huh. his oh, boys are, are in fourth and second that's grade. That's his family's for. Uh, he's gonna have that's like. That's not what this award is for. His kids are gonna be like six and ten. People we're looking, big, we're looking children. for the lunch okay. lady that always gives your kid a smile. Okay. The teacher that's inspired. Right. Um, anybody. Not that he the doesn't deserve recognition. That, yeah. yeah, the yeah. custodian that keeps the place clean. Anybody. I want to. I go. I want to. I want to nominate. I want to nominate Lynn English Paulo. teacher. Lynn Paulo is pretty awesome. Because she you know why? Awesome. I why? get her mail. Well, her mail comes to my. Yeah, her mail comes to my house. I swear to God. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, continue but on. she is right. amazing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we open it up on April 1st. April 26th is the last call All right, for so nominations. All right, time. Yeah, and then down here, by the way, hold up a little higher. A little higher. There, there you go, guys. Look at that. That's the uh, QR, QR code. QR code. So these are at every school. Okay. Um, there's also hard copies for the nomination forms at the school, or you can go online to KPSF. Dot net. So kpsf.net, okay. look up our program, Shining Stars. So um, cool. Yeah, yeah, and nominate someone yeah. that's in KISD. We'll right. award them, and they'll be presented uh, how many, right before the first football how game. How many Shining Stars are chosen? One or um, a few? We've In the past, we've been doing 20, but it just wow. depend, it's going to depend on what okay. comes in. Okay, all right. Yeah, Perfect. and so they get a monetary award from us that they can spend any way they want. But Sweet. Nice. There's yeah. lots of amazing people in our district. Tons and so we're and asking, tons. We're asking for nominations. Let's give them some love. I got some nominations in mind. Yeah. Kids can nominate to students. Really? Anybody. Anybody okay. from the community. Um, good. I, I had a delightful time at the, uh, at the, the STEM, STEM event. Uh, and I didn't realize that I should have a presentation of the STEM event because so many of the kids, I got into one room, they all wanted to hold my camera. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of, there's that science and technology it is. right there. It is. You know, yeah, photography. Yeah, definitely technology. So, yeah. oh my God, Tim Summerlin's here. He's so relaxed oh now. Oh my gosh. Is he wearing shoes? He's he wearing does. shoes. He's like <laughs> moccasin yeah. type looking shoes. Yeah, on. okay. All right. Uh, get this done. Yes. Get it figured out. Help KPSF. support KPSF. Net. If you want to just give money to KPSF, if we want to get money out of Tim Summerlin, hey, uh, we need 20 bucks. <laughs> Tim Summerlin, <laughs> we need $20. Go to Jen. You're super rich, all right? <laughs> I saw your campaign finance yeah. reports. So, uh, <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, so we, you can get money any time, right? Yeah, you can come by the office. We're right behind Central Office, KSD Central Office, or you can do it online at kpsf.net. All right. Very awesome. good. Okay. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. All right. Doug Hetzler's here. He is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Doug, let me tell you. I think I feel strongly. Uh, Kristen, come on down. Are you bringing Tim Summerlin with you? Sure. Tim Summerlin, come on the show. Come on the show. Come. Got some glasses for you, Dr. Summerlin. Right here. Right there. Come right, Sit down right there in the middle. The He's like, no. No. Yeah. You are in trouble. Allow me You're to pull out the chair for you. Yeah. You think <laughs> you think that you were uh, the president of the university, but I'm telling you, I'm I've got I got some words for you, uh, Doug. I, I, here's my thing. I was telling my mom. She was uh, she calls me or she sent me a text and she says, Sherry's boss did really well. He was really good. Oh man! And uh, accolades from across the country. Yes, across the country. And I said, the reason why he did so well is that he has to put up with me on the show. <laughs> on the regular. On a regular basis. Every single That's person true. that was quoted has been on this show and had to endure yes. my, my shenanigans. That's right. And it was funny because on CBS Morning News had Sarah DeRoso and, uh, and Jenna Peterson mm-hmm. who, who get really sick of my bull. Anyway, <laughs> so so you were really just like helping prepare them. For I did. That's right. what it is. Yeah. My preparation yeah. is I, I just did. So Morgan Chesky, goodbye. See you guys later. Not not you guys, but those guys. Bye, Laura and Mark. Uh, d- well, anyway.
Done deal. Done. Nap is open today and tomorrow, everyone. You can get 10% off marine batteries, by the way. <laughs> Throwing right. that in really quick. Throwing and a, and a NASCAR hat. Uh, Doug, though, you did great. And Thanks, was, man. Did people, did, did people come in saying, hey, we saw you on the show? Some people or, have done that. More people have come in and called and said, where do I get those moon pie things? Right, exactly. That's been like you a said Julie smash hit. Yeah, no, no yeah. it's crazy. We were sold out a couple days ago. They just Did you? Well, I'm not joking. Mm-hmm. Like five minutes after that aired, we were getting phone calls from all over the country. Hey, oh mail me some. That is some. cool. Yeah, and right. we, don't, we don't have the capacity to do that, so... He said, sorry, come and get him. You did yeah. do a great job, so. though. Oh, thanks. That was yeah. a hit. Thanks. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, so how are things looking over there at Gibson's Discount Center? Man, a little hectic these last couple of days, and I think it's going to get worse the next couple of days in terms of uh, chaos. But, um, yeah, we are we have a few T-shirts left. Like you, we have all the crazy sizes, right? All the non... Uh, uh, the edges. You, yeah, yeah, the edges. That's a great way to there say it. There you go. Um, and then uh, we sold out of the little moon pie kits, but we ordered a whole bunch of more moon pies because people are looking at that as an excellent default. So yes. They're putting together kits, right? So yeah. their family and friends are coming. Mm-hmm. They'll put a little kit and they everybody gets a moon pie. I've seen pie some really so, cute yeah. ideas on yeah. celebration kits. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, we got more moon pies coming in. We have a list already that people have been on the phone. We got a big old list running already. So as soon as they come in, we'll get those sold. Uh, we got 20 parking spaces pre-sold, which is what was our max. We didn't want to sell pre-sell more than that. Um, yeah, so I think we're doing pretty good. We're, nice. We're pretty much... In the running, I think, for uh, some some good days. And you have Absolutely. extended hours. Right. We did extend our hours by a couple hours every day. So we're closed at 9. So, Phew. yeah. I Absolutely. Um, you know, it's it's you're going to have um, – people are just going to want to go see your, your shop. Yeah. You know, because they're so fascinated by – you know the the mystique of a general store, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm not kidding, man. I, I, I at least two or three times a day we get people come in and do that. They wander around and go like, "Oh my god, I've never <laughs> been in a place like yeah, this." Yeah, you know? right. I had that reaction the first time I went in, you know, because I didn't grow up with Gibson. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah so, but like you know, to me, like I know a lot of people here. I mean, it's very nostalgic, mm-hmm. and for a lot of people in Texas or even the Midwest, yes. you know, Gibson's was a big part of their. Yeah, it went all the way across into Georgia and yeah. up to Ohio, and you know, so there was yeah. lots of. People, yeah, Arkansas, all that, yeah. Know, my wife will make it clear up. like she, the Gibsons was a big part of where she grew up in Wyoming, mm. so yeah. you know, they have very fond memories. Mine was like TG and Y and Thrifty. Mm. Do you ever have those? Do no. you have those here? Yeah, TG and Y, which is TJ well, Maxx. Now, oh, yeah. I can say that on our social channels, typically a Gibson's post is probably one of our best performing yeah. it just depends but it's yeah. usually up people there. have that connection to it people yeah. love the gibson yeah. yeah from whatever well, and as far as travel data on when people go gibson's is always at least in the top five yeah they, right sometimes they shift around by season or whatever mm. but it's always in there now if they just had more boar spears and a gatling gun <laughs> yeah. you have the boar spear we right sold the, we still got the boar spear but we sold the gatling gun last yeah. year oh my god sorry man right. hey I'll you get brought something else in you brought yeah. something kind of weird in yesterday yeah is it still here <laughs> um, yeah I, I still have it here i just brought this in to show you we put them on sale because easter is over but it's little easter bunny i gotta pass oh, these down okay. i let julie hold them up yeah um they're little easter bunnies they like to cover my face yeah they're little easter bunnies but they're made <laughs> they're made with with cereal. Oh, okay. So we've got fruity was, pebbles I in there. I saw the back of this as it came in, in and there. I was hoping it was actually Three like options. a fruity pebble ice yeah. cris- uh, rice crispy treat. Oh, that so that's <laughs> yeah, that's a little chocolate bunny with with. I gave you twenty. Cereal. I'll give you twenty bucks to eat one of those right now. The whole thing, Julie. Me? No, thank you. Okay. Come on. I got paid yesterday. White I'm chocolate right. with fruity pebbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll feel good. Who ordered this stuff? Hey, man, it's did popular. It, did it we sell? sold a lot of it. Did you really? Yeah, we just have about. About I don't know five That'd or ten of each left, in, right? Yeah, uh, right. After Christmas, so I like you it. can make it eclipse related oh. somehow. Yeah. Right here, sure. Right here. Put one over the other. The moon yeah. going over the. I don't know. But uh, they're on sale uh, now. They are on sale. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, all kinds. Pop on over and get a bunny. Yeah, yeah. I was worried about it yesterday, <laughs> Doug, go. because well, uh, I got I got called back to work. There was some stuff going on, and I had to go take care of. And you had a raucous event yesterday, man. Well, it was crazy the, in here. That band just showed up, yeah. and I had no idea. Who, I, I I don't I never booked them, yeah. but somebody else booked them for me, oh. and they just <laughs> showed up and like, well, I can get you on. They sounded cool. They were great. Yeah. Well, this never turns anyone yeah, away. No, yeah, I never turn anyone away. <laughs> so or there's certain people who just don't have a choice to come on the show, yeah, like Tim Summerlin. Yeah, yeah. So. Tim Summerlin. He got roped in. 
Yeah. Uh, sure. All right. At least uh, the sun's right. out of his face a little bit. What now. do we need to know about going to Gibson's, though, this weekend? It's just going to be busy. Uh, that's all. We still got tons of water. We have tons of snacks. We have, oh, we're almost out of, uh, I think we're totally out of no trespassing signs, but we're almost out of keep out. That's the only thing we okay. got left. All right. And I, we bought a ton of those. Right. And man, people have been buying them like crazy. Right. So keep people off their property. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we got uh, pretty much everything else stocked up. Uh, pool chemical tests. Pool chemical tests. We got them. We got them. <laughs> Chlorine. We got I couldn't them. find them last time. Come get them, man. We get couldn't them find in. them. Right. That's uh, one of my guys. Tony Fontaine Jenner saying this morning, if you're all bored, call the Kerbal CVB, ask to speak to Leslie Jones, and ask her if, if an eclipse is happening this yeah, weekend. Right. Yeah, you should I, do it. It's not this weekend, but go ahead and call yeah, and ask yeah, her. Tell yeah. me all about it. Yeah. Uh, we ask have, specifically for we have Leslie. So we'll many, see. so many things going on. All right, Doug. Thank you oh, so much for okay, being I here. Okay, I'm going to go one last quick public yeah. public service announcement. Yes. We are closing our parking lot Sunday night. We're right. going to rope okay. it off. Right. A lot of people use our parking lot and Mama Cedis to cut across yep. from water to Maine or back. I to have done it on occasion. I have to admit. Have you really? I, dude, people go 40 miles an hour in that parking I lot. I don't do that. Yeah, no joke. They zip through. So right. I'm just they use our warning everyone. Well for weird stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to crash into stuff if you do that without looking because we're, yeah. we're putting yeah. barriers up. So please. I mean, honestly, it's not a street. You shouldn't it's be just, doing yeah, it Yeah, you anyway, shouldn't, but, but whatever. We're not get all, we don't yeah. get all like that about it. Right. But Sunday night, I there's going to be barriers up there. So yeah. don't crash your car yeah. and don't crash our barriers. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so otherwise, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I, there's going to be a whole level of stupidity this weekend. I get, I guarantee you. Probably. Yeah. But yeah. I feel yeah. the most part, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think so. So, all right. I'm also glad to see you got the, the, uh, Gunny's Warriors here. Today. Yeah, Gunny's Warriors yeah. here. They're going to get the, we're going to get the money here in a minute. So. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, all okay. right, I got to ask a tough question here. So, Doug, Doug you better for me? no for somebody oh, else. Somebody else. Okay. Yeah. Bye, Doug. I'm evacuating. Right. Bye. See you. If Tim Sutherland, I'm putting you on the spot here. Are you ready, Tim? I'm good. I'm glad it's for him. I'm on the spot. <laughs> You're on the spot. That's you ready why you for have this? the sun in your face right the now. Sun that's in your a, face. That's a natural spotlight. spotlight. This is a third degree. You are you are you are a, a, a shining <laughs> star. Uh, if somebody on their resume put bachelor's degree and didn't have it didn't have it like delineated what would you think about that how would you read that as a president of a university either a very very poor memory or an unethical act i would say right right uh as a hiring manager i've always said this too that this controversy over the roman garcia uh bachelor's degree thing showed an ethical lapse and two that it, it was it was a, a, one of those unforced errors you didn't need to do that you know and so um you know if a student at shriner did that would there be any consequences for that student I, it would depend on the circumstances yeah. like what is this person doing to, you know just circulating something about himself or right. herself right or is this being used in some sort of public way where uh, a public trust is involved. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, this is a public trust issue. I mean, we're getting run down to it. All right, now I'm taking you off the spotlight for a minute because I'm not sure. You, you probably didn't even want to come on the show, but there's two other questions <laughs> for you. One, uh, I saw you, I saw your picture in the president's office the other day. I want to replace that photo because I have a better one. So. You have a better one. Yeah, the one of you in the rocking chair. It's awesome. That's one of my greatest photos of all time. Uh, I might even put that in my house. It's so good. Is uh, is this your judgment that says it's a superior shot? Yes. Or yes. Are there other professionals? It's highly you know, rated on it's, credentials. Who would say it's that? highly rated on Instagram? Highly. Instagram. Well, I've never been there, so it's <laughs> trust me. World. Your Instagram. Your Instagram famous. You have almost as many likes as the Easter Capybara has, but that's another story altogether. Uh, last question for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Then I'll throw you. Then you can. Then you can flee from this facility. Uh, and get some aloe for his face. Yeah, get some aloe for his face. And uh, he, see, that's <laughs> what's great. Sun. The sun is just hitting him yeah. right in the face. He really, <laughs> he's really delightful. Just throw him on uh, in the spotlight. I know. Here's the deal. What is? What can we expect from the final symphony performance of 2024? That's mm. coming up at the end of the month. I'm excited. You know how I love the symphony. You what should can we, be. What can, we, what can we expect? It has got a lot of explosion. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite pieces, classical pieces, the Enigma Variations, a mm -hmm. set of 14 variations on a theme, one of which the key theme 
as it's uh, played is very familiar. People recognize it, but then it goes in a 14 different directions. That's going to lead off the symphony, and then it will conclude with Don Crandall playing the first movement of Tchaikovsky's first nice. piano concerto. Nice. I'm on you know, real blockbuster. Yeah, so. that's going to be great. How, how, how you know, there's got to be moments when you just feel really proud of the symphony. And I have to think that it must have been that first moment on the last symphony when the, the young young man played the, the violin solo. And, like, people, like, jumped out of their seats. I have not yet seen that at the, at the symphony. That's probably the most beautiful thing I think I've seen yet. Uh, but the standing ovation he got was amazing. It, it was. And uh, Gene Dowdy, our conductor, mm -hmm. made the point that he said, I usually know how the audience is going to react to particular pieces, which right. will really get them and which will be more moderate in response. Right. He said that one floored me. Yeah. Because that's a, a, a violin um, piece like that where you're leaning so much on one instrument is not necessarily going to be a thing and may be unfamiliar to a lot right. of people. Not necessarily going to be the kind of thing that gets attention, but he said... And that audience just jumped up and roared. Right. It was amazing. He was, he was surprised. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, so the symphony is, is it April 24th? Is that the next uh, performance of 28th? 25th. Well, I have it here. Uh, Stand by. Let me look, at, let me look it up. Symphony. It's a th that Thursday. It'll be on that a Thursday. Sure. That's yeah. right. 25th is a Thursday. Okay. Yep. You're right. 25th. Thank uh, you, Ruben. High yeah. numbers. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for the symphony. What else are you working on? Anything? You got anything else going on? Are you writing any books or anything? I mean, we're going to keep you busy in your retirement. Oh, I have a few things we're working on. Some fun stuff with Shriner. Okay, good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can escape now, my <laughs> hold. So I've released the tractor beam for you. Thank you, sir. Uh, can I wait one more thing? <laughs> but wait. Well, wait, there's, there's more. one more. A Pope Peel? Pocket fisherman. Yes, I would like to have uh, Conan. I like to request Conan the Barbarian soundtrack to be played uh, at the next Pops concert. Please, can we do that? Can you do what on the, the Pops Conan Conan the Barbarian? Uh, I will bring that to specifically. The music committee. <laughs> I want I want a sampling of the org I want a sampling of the orgy scene. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a piece that's familiar to me as it is to you. I've decided. You. I'm going to send it to you. You said okay. I'm going to send it to you. Please, please it. do. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. There you go. Kristen Hedger's here. She's not completely um, blinded by the sun. And what's no. funny is it's this window now that's yeah. coming out. Uh, uh, come Future's on. Future's bright, though. Come on down, you guys. Uh, we got to get another chair for somebody. Kristen, how are you? Fantastic. Are you ready for this eclipse? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be fun. Uh, we need one more chair. So I want to bring a chair over from, from over there. So... Uh, how well, are things going over there? Tim the was probably wanting it when he was sitting in the sun. I know. He probably <laughs> wanted it, yeah. How, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You were wearing your Letterman's jacket earlier. Yeah, I was. I like that Letterman's jacket. Are you playing pickleball, by the way? I have not yet played it. I'm kind of working with our condo board to see if we can get some pickleball courts. I tell you right now, Shriner, Shriner should add another... Okay, Jan, you're going to have to come over a little bit. And so they got to share a microphone. I've got it down at the trailhead. I see kids playing it all the yeah. time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's actually, the trailheads thing is bu blowing up now. People are discovering the joys of pickleball. <laughs> and I, I, actually, here's what we want to do. We want to we wanna get Leslie. Okay. Some of these. And yeah. she played at Shriner. Mm -hmm. And then we want to get Kristen. She's mm -hmm. TFND star. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. And uh, we'll have them. We'll do a, we'll do a doubles doubles yeah. match. Oh, they're okay. Oh, this okay. will be fun. Yeah. yeah. So great. are they together on a team? They could be. They could be. Okay. Well, that's going to be their competition. Okay. Who are they taking down? Uh, I would I would go for uh, Haley Montoya. Okay. She's like the probably the best female pickle player in town. Okay. But. The power of Kristen Hedger and Leslie. Can you imagine how imposing that would be? The two of you guys. I know they're so Let's tall too. They're so tall. I yeah. Know. I mean, yeah. This would be fun. Some rock right. and roll yeah. tennis. Right. Did yeah. Ever, rock and roll pickleball, I guess. I'm, we'll talk off. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, she, uh, Kristen and 
Leslie might be somewhat close in age. Yes, so they I was are. like, did right. they compete against each other yeah. ever? I don't what, remember. Uvalde and Tyvee. I played t- Well, she played for Uvalde. Yeah, no. she played for Uvalde. When did you graduate high from high school, though? 98. Oh, no. Yeah. She's like a 2002. Yeah, so she would have been like I'm an eighth grade. Right. Yeah. You're an old lady, 1998. sorry. Yeah. That but look, I was making you, I was I making you four years younger. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Right. I still make a good good duo. We how can, it would have been funny if y'all did that. How are, uh, how's things going over the uh, the new the new plant? I mean, it's, is, is it completely crazy busy there now? Or? We're doing well. We're yeah. doing well. Good study business and we're doing well. Um, you guys had a ground. Well, you guys had like another ribbon cutting. We did. Yeah, what we was that about? Kind of a grand opening celebration and concert with Shriner to. Um, yeah, I didn't get to make it. I was I sad. Did, yeah. Celebrate our, the lab that we have, well, working with them, the engineering lab, right on site. Yeah. Which is very nice. It's very, very doing cool. Good things to continue yeah. to advance th- that partnership. And uh, so we had teammates from North Dakota down. Of course, they were thankful to get out of the cold. Yeah, they were like, get us down to Kerrville now. Oh, that was nice. It was, it was great. And we had staff from the governor's office and uh, workforce development and so it was good a lot of fun uh, brenda hughes is here too you're gonna come on the show right yeah she's gonna come on the <laughs> show yeah. all right uh so you mean when i came and visited your facility i was so amazed at you know the change you know from your your temporary location to the the new location and how it all came together and there's some people who were like initially doubting that this was ever going to happen but that's a really and the, the 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 amazing thing about it is is that you know you guys are in a position to 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 outgrow that facility pretty quickly it sounds like too yeah um aerospace is certainly a growing industry continues mm. to be and so yeah. the future is definitely bright we're thankful to the community and our state and certainly a lot of prayers and folks who help us uh make that happen right. so we're grateful right uh so what is what is the what is the what does the media future look like for you guys you had you had a purpose for this uh, appearance you said you wanted to talk about big things big things yeah i know i'm making that up but i'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just there's not mostly coming. i just kind of missed being in y'all's presence oh. and wanted to just come and hang out Good. well since you she'll hold that thought now th- i'm going to go i'm going to pivot here because i got these ladies on the show i got susan beckmer and i got jan per- Pericini. Pericini? Wait. Say your last name again for me. Pericini. Pericini. I almost got you it right. You were really close. I was really close. Yeah. And I don't know the lady in the middle. What's, what, who are you? What are you doing? I'm Heidi Etrich, and I am the spokesperson for MT Bain Music. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, oh, there we go. MT Bain. Okay. MT Bain. And this is the Victory Veterans Tour. This is on. Eight, this is tomorrow. Yes. Uh, at the Veterans Center. And this is free. Is that right? This is free. 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 What? By donation. By donation, uh, donation. That's right. We we had this uh, we had this updated on our on our calendar list of things. Do you have that on your calendar? Mm-mm. All right. Uh, tell us about the event tomorrow. The event tomorrow is the Can kickoff to a, a larger Victory for Veterans tour that's mm-hmm. going to be held every month throughout the Hill Country. Yeah. Uh, and it is all about veteran assistance awareness, so veterans know that they can come out to any of these locations that we're going to be putting on this tour. And just to get the public's awareness yeah. as well of right. all of these veterans organizations right. who provide assistance to all our veterans in this Hill Country community. Right, and it, there, that's so the need is so great. It is great. Uh, Susan Beckmore's here. She's with together with Hill Country Veterans. Uh, uh, Susan, dra- drag that microphone over to you. Uh, we had that uh, Vietnam Veterans uh, uh, kind of welcome home event uh, at the at the Veterans Center uh, last week, right? March 29th. Ah, so it was such a good good event. It's a dedicated day for ve- Vietnam veterans right. specifically. But those guys got those little pin, those little uh, lapel pins, pins. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of marking their service. What was your th- thought on that and seeing that happen? I thought it was extraordinary, sadly, like 70 years too late. Yeah, but, right. Um, I'm glad that there's an effort right now to bring back the awareness on the Vietnam veterans specifically. Yeah. Because uh, they deserve it. They deserve it, right. They do. They do. They do. But this awareness issue, though, for what you do in suicide prevention, uh, again, there's like, it's just, we, it's like every day we hear some new stat or story about the challenges the military continually faces with this epidemic of. Uh, veterans taking their own lives, and can't you can't. Oh, you don't have the headphones on. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, I'm always thinking of people talking to headphones. Okay, 
We'll go back. We'll repeat this again. Okay. All right. So it seems like every day we have, uh, n- you know, new data or new information about people who have taken their own lives within the military. Wait, is she leaving already? Where is she going? She is. Yeah. No, you sit back. Get down. Sit back down. <laughs> You're not dismissed yet. <laughs> well, she was trying to let them have the spotlight. No, no, so we, she no, no. She it. look. No, I, I, I listen. Th- there, there's a reason for how I direct the show. Okay. There's there's I'm coachable. They're coachable, right? Okay. <laughs> so there's data, right? How do we? But these events and this awareness issue, how important are are they to the work that you're doing with uh, together with Hill Country Veterans? The connections that we make uh, through the thread of the military mm-hmm. environment yeah. help someone know someone who might know someone, and that's how we find the gentlemen or ladies that need to talk stuff out. Right. It's such an important and critically important uh, you know piece of what what we do here. This is. Like, we have so many great things. We have Gunny's Warriors here. We have Together Hill Country Veterans here. And then this M.T. Bain. So what kind of concert are we going to have? It is a old Texas dance hall type music. Ah! Um, uh, M.T. is a fourth generation veteran. Yeah. And very passionate about the assistance at the Hill Country Veterans Center and also jam through the Gunny's Warriors, how we've met with them and, and learned. <laughs> uh, I like it. You look good at those. <laughs> Uh, and he's just, he's passionate about his music. Yeah. He's passionate passionate about the assistance that he's providing right. to the veterans. Right. Uh, and he just, he wants to have a big old block party and just get people out to get people aware of what the Hill Country Veterans Center does. Okay. All of the veterans organizations that provide support through the Hill Country Veterans Center and through together with the Hill Country Veterans Center. And he just loves it. And, and this is his passion. Right. And he committed to a whole year of putting on these concerts and just getting the awareness in the community through a very fun venue through the music that he right. performs. Um, sounds like an event that you and John should go to. It does. Because yeah. John likes to do like, likes to cut the rug right a little bit. He's he like does. A, he's, he like does. Talent, he's like he a does. dance hall kind of guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's a Marine. He's a so. Marine. Yeah, he retired Marine. Is he, is he retired from the Marine? He's Marines? not retired. He's just... He served in the Marines. Yeah, 11 okay. years, 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Oh, I got it. That's a, and my dad, too. Your Both dad Marines. Too? Both Marines. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I have gun- their pictures next to each other. It's really yeah. cute. Is that, that's, that's, <laughs> they're, that is they're, cute. you know, boot camp, graduation pictures. Right. Yeah. So. Right. It's uh, fun. You know, I, I always say to myself that I'm, I'm grateful. My grandfather always uh, couched veterans this way because he's, he was a veteran, right? But he never, he never talked about his service because right. it was like he was stateside. <laughs> during World War II. Mm-hmm. But they, we, always, we always ask him, like, did, we remember asking him one time, do you ever feel you know, bad that you didn't go to the Pacific like your brother right. did? And, uh, in fact, my great uncle was recently honored uh, by the Texas legislature. He died in 1987. Wow. But he drove a tractor on the Iwo Jima. And uh, my grandfather was always like, uh, hell no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, he, he suffered. You know, that's what was his, his message, you know, and we didn't really talk about it cause he suffered. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, my great uncles, uh, both my mom's side and my dad's side sacrificed. So like, I didn't have to serve mm-hmm. necessarily, you know, I signed up for the draft day one, but right. I didn't have, didn't have to serve because those, those became before me did, you know? Yeah. And the people that, uh, that have children serving like me now, you know, I'm I'm incredibly interested in the veterans community because I know what the military's done for my son and my my family. Mm-hmm. So, and Jan, you know, you guys, uh, you've lived that life, you know, yes. and it, and it and you know, tell me though, why why these events are important for what you're doing with Gunny's Warriors, which is talking about kind of traumatic brain injuries. Yes, our core mission. Come a little closer to that, or just pull that microphone close to your face. Okay. There, there you go. Our core mission is to provide awareness and support for blast traumatic brain injury. Um, And this event, along with all the events that MT Bain Music is doing this year, is to bring awareness to (coughs) our group and the other groups serving. And there's so many groups in the Hill Country uh, that serve veterans. And they don't get the uh, attention and credit that they deserve, I feel. And, and so this is kind of um, a one place that they can all get the credit and get exposure so that, like 
Heidi said, all the veterans in the area know um, what's out there for right. all of them. Right. And here's the brilliant segue out of this, right? So we have these great groups and organizations that are, are working to provide you know, services to veterans. And then we have Killdeer Manufacturing, which is hiring veterans. How yeah. many veterans work for yes. Killdeer? We've got quite a few veterans. I wish I could I could tell you off the top of my head, but I'd have to talk to our human relations department. Yeah, but right. We do. Have I need you to have that number like that. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really embarrassed, but um, but we do have a very a lot, a lot of veterans who yeah. work in, in Texas and in North Dakota. Right. It's amazing how many people. Uh, you know, you guys. I, I know it's important. You also have a relationship with the military contractors. Correct. So yeah, yeah. A, we're thankful to support our yeah. warfighter. Yeah, and the warfighter piece of that too is like. The, to those guys working on those components, mm -hmm. like this stuff has to work. It, it does. It has to work, has to be delivered on time, and, and be work properly right. every time. Right. So All right. Good job. We take that very seriously. Uh, I want to I do one more segue so I throw you off okay. for a second. Okay. Jack Lamb's coming. He's, 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 oh. he's already giving me that look. I'm in trouble. Wait, don't go. Oh, oh, she's, 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 oh, she's coughing. To, yeah, she's All just right. choked up. Uh, Jonathan Lamb, Sergeant Jonathan Lamb is here. He's a veteran. He's also going to be like the man of the hour for the next four days. I know. Uh, yes. Sergeant Lamb. Uh, <laughs> what is, what is, He's got what, his smile on. He's ready. The veterans groups in this hey, community. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. The veterans groups in this community uh, do what? What, what, what? what do they, how do they, what is your opinion of what they offer and their services they provide? Veteran service organizations? Yes. Yeah, you know, uh, I think that uh, Americans have always given their uh, military members a lot of support um, and a lot of recognition. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of that was lacking post-Vietnam. Yeah. And I think that as a, as a nation, we've kind of taken a look um, and I'm taking my, my KPD hat off for yeah, just yeah. a second. Right. I'm just talking, you know, somebody who served our, uh, in the military for a considerable amount of time. I think we took a look in the mirror and decided that we wanted to do a little bit better by our veterans. And I think that's why it's so encouraging that we've got veteran support organizations that are there to, to recognize, you know, the sacrifice. And it's mm -hmm. not it's not always the uh, sacrifice of, of serving in heavy combat and, and – uh, you know, experience in that kind of uh, um, service, but also the sacrifice of missing birthdays and holidays and being away from home and, yeah. you know, working, working Christmas and wor working Thanksgiving and those kind of things. And, and uh, all of that, you know, whether you're at the tip of the spear or if you're behind the, you know, pushing that support package, uh, every member of our military from regardless of branch you know they've all signed up to to do a job and i think that it's great that we've got uh the american legion and the veterans of foreign wars and uh some of the other nationally known uh organizations as well as like grassroots hometown uh support organizations there i, I just think that it's uh kind of a uniquely american thing that yeah. we we support and and you don't have to you don't have to love necessarily what what the military mission is in, in this particular uh, this particular conflict or this particular incident, but the the men and women who serve their country, yeah, you know, yeah. I think are de are absolutely deserving of support, right. and uh, I just think it's great that that we as a nation, by and large, do that. It was interesting. Uh, my my son uh, has this old car, uh, 1970 Impala, which I always tell him. I said that's the car that probably broke GM in the 70s, but. <laughs> Um, he's been in the military now for seven years, and you know he works. He's he's an he's an electrician, but he also works on maintenance of of the LCAC, which are the marine amphibious landing craft, basically. Uh, and so they they finally removed this this hunk of metal from his dad's house uh, and moved it back to the where they're living in in Camp Pendleton. And I was looking at him; he was redoing it. And I said, you know, that's military service right there. He now has the skills to put that thing back together because he knows how it works. Because he works on, he worked on it, you right. know, in the, on a destroyer for for the first four years. So, see, this is what happens, man. When you go, when you come on the show. It, we we have a tendency to kill people. So, 
but you have to love those grandchildren, but they are a little petri dishes. Uh, <laughs> yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that's another show, that's, that's but another we, yeah, show. definitely they are. Yeah. Uh, tell us again, the event is when? From when to when? The event on Saturday is from 6.30 to 10. Yeah. Uh, and then every month there will be a show uh, throughout oh, wow. the Texas Hill Country. Yes. Okay. And, Outstanding. And all donations go to Gunny's Waters. And the Hill Country Veterans Center. Okay. Very cool. The band, uh, is, the band is privately sponsored. Okay. And it's it's not just a throw together band. These are these touring. guys are good. These are MT these band, band members have toured with George. But wasn't Ray, there a, a bigger poster somewhere? We yeah, can it's on the wall. It's on the wall. Okay. It's All right. I was gonna put it over Julie's face, but. Uh, no. I can hold this little one up. You hold this little one up yes. there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh. I won't hide my whole face, but. There it is. MT Bang. MTBaneMusic.com. I love it. I love it. I'm going to take this to the office so we make sure we get it on. um, I have notes. Notes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Instructions. Yes, do it. Um, We have food trucks at uh, different events. Not this Saturday. Right. uh, Because of there's other things. Apparently, there's something going on this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some BS with (laughs) that. Exactly. But uh, May 18th, American Dogs will be there. August 17th, oh. the Cenos will be there. Okay. okay. And then, of course, MT Bain Music is going to play at our Field of Honor. Outstanding. September 7th. And then September 14th and October 19th, Shims Be Blessed. Yeah. Awesome. Those are all really good, are, are good tic- ones. Are tickets on sale? Or I mean, tickets. Are, are, are you already opening up for Field of Honor? Is it already the. the can we oh, start? absolutely. Okay. You okay. go on uh, gunnieswarriors.com. And you can purchase a flag and look at all the events. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I I, I get that done. So. Yes. And I forgot to. Okay. All right. Uh, um, talk about Buzzies will be there September. 7th oh, for also. God's sakes, Buzzies. I can't forget Buzzies. Yeah, I can't forget Buzzies. No. Yeah, <laughs> nothing but trouble. All right, thank you, ladies, for being thank here. You so right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Yeah. Where's Brenda Hughes at? So speaking of Buzzy. Bye. Good thank you. Uh, <laughs> Bye. All right, uh, Jonathan Lamb. How do things, Sergeant Lamb? How do things look right now? What's what's your what's your? You're Brenda Hughes, right? Yeah. Is that your name? Yeah, that's my name. <laughs> Come on, Kate. I didn't recognize you without your cowboy no. hat. Right. Hey, that, I borrowed Char- Charlie McElwain. Did you? Yeah. Seems yeah. to <laughs> make. Right. Yeah, it's 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 uh, hey, important for campaign I'm photos. I understand. Yeah. Uh, wh- how do things look? Sergeant Lamb. You know, we're we're as ready as we're going to be, and I think we're yeah. as prepared as we can be. Okay. Uh, what's your temperature like of what's going on right now? As Man, far we're as boiling. Are you? <laughs> this this pot is boiling, and it's going to stay at a at a at a rolling boil. Yeah. Uh, all the way through Tuesday. Um, the the chief came on. He stormed onto the show Wednesday and completely okay. overwhelmed me with his with he just when he comes in. You know, you're sitting there. Well, yeah, first and of all, you, yeah. yeah. You're, like, looking up, like, <laughs> oh, my God, what does we, he want? We know. Yeah, yes. all right, what does he want? Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Like, You're like, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> um, how did that, uh, his, his update, how would you rate that update? Was it pretty no, strong? 10 out of 10. 10 man. out of 10. Uh, look, right. I can't, you, you said come back on the uh, show and talk about the traffic safety plan, and I'm like, uh, I can't improve on what the chief did. He, <laughs> it was pretty amazing. Just play he that covered, clip again. He yeah. covered all of it. Are you uh, feeling overwhelmed? No, not at no. all. No. They're no. prepared. They're prepared. They're prepared. They've um, been planning a really long time. Mm. This is not like last week they came up with an idea. Yeah, exactly. you know, <laughs> uh, uh, unlike natural disasters and man-made disasters, we, we, we have very little time to prepare and very little warning. We, we have had so much lead time and, and so much prep time. Uh, and I'm sure... Just given the nature of events, that uh, there might be something that we haven't anticipated Absolutely occurring, right. yeah. uh, but we feel like we're as prepared as we possibly can be. Yeah, I mean the uh, the it was cool, and I'm probably going to get rejected for this, but the the EOC command center that's right there on mm-hmm. North Street behind the police station. That's one of the cooler things I've seen in a bit because it's yep. like a it's like one of these Turkish. Uh, blow up uh, tent <laughs> things with air conditioning and stuff. You know, so the military uses those type of tents quite a lot, and um, they're they're inflatable, and uh, you connect them together, okay. and you can build a city out of those tents. Very and they're cool. climate controlled inside, and they're they're actually very cool inside, and right. um, 
It makes for a great workspace. It really nice. does. Yeah. Uh, just real quick here. Here is the traffic plan right here. This is uh, this is around uh, HEB, mm -hmm. little HEB in the mall, right in front of Louise Hayes uh, Park. Um, the the closures are between uh, Sydney Baker uh, and Cauley. Is that right? Yeah. So that's La Casa. So Park Lane is closed. Okay. Um, this Park Lane is this this. Uh, yes, sir. That's yeah, Park okay. Lane. Yeah. This mirrors our Fourth on the River traffic control plan that we institute every year for the uh, for the free concert that we do down in Louise Hayes Park. So the yeah. only thing that's closed here is Park Lane between La Casa and Sydney Baker, and then Thompson Drive on the other side of Sydney Baker to Cully Drive. Yeah. Um, we are doing right turns only from all parking lots and side streets onto Sydney Baker, which is State Highway 16. Uh, and we're doing right turns only on to Cully Drive from all those parking lots. So right. uh, to avoid cross traffic, people driving across lanes of traffic. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also doing a contraflow lane. That center left turn lane is going to turn into a third northbound lane from La Casa all the way up to Holsworth um, to facilitate folks after the eclipse, after that period of totality uh, passes, folks will be able to move back towards the interstate. Um, at Holsworth Drive, that center left turn lane, everyone's going to be directed onto Holsworth, and they will uh, go down Holsworth, and they'll access Interstate 10 through the 505 off of Harper Road. Yep. The other two lanes keep going north. They access the interstate at the 508. We're also directing traffic to Interstate 10 via 27 through Comfort, Highway 41 through Mountain Home, uh, and and back to San Antonio through Highway 16 and State Highway 173. Uh, the one thing that uh, the chief news he broke was that TxDOT hired like 26 additional traffic mm -hmm. control police officers. Uh -huh. um, so that gives you guys a little bit of a break on having to deal with this uh, because basically it's going to be all. I asked him, do you, guys, do you guys have enough white gloves to move the traffic forward? You know. I have a question. Yeah. Okay. I'm not taking any questions. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you can turn oh, left. Right. On Holdsworth from 16. That's correct. Okay. Can you turn left when you're on Holdsworth to get into the Doyle Community Center? On the path? Yes, because, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Hold, Holdsworth is not closed. Uh, right. Yeah. But are the side streets, because I've been hearing right turns only, right turns only. Yeah, but Can that, you turn left from Holdsworth yeah. onto Pascal? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then I can get home. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you, you know, go. I get, you it, know, it, it is a local traffic you only. Live by me. And we, That's right. right by me. That's we, right. I've been got, trying to tell Buzzy, I'll, I'll get you home. I'll, I'll get, get you home. home. <laughs> We've got local traffic only signs set up at uh, um, most of our side streets off of those main thoroughfares. So, you know, the chief, uh, so TxDOT is contracted with 25, 26 uh, officers from other agencies. They're going to be providing traffic control at some of the major intersections around town. That's going to free up our patrol guys to provide uh, services to residents and guests. Both our regular patrol officers still going to be out on the street, uh, augmented a little bit, and uh, at the Eclipse in the Park event. Right. And our uh, local traffic only signs, that's to encourage guests to stay on the main thoroughfares stay out of the residential neighborhoods off of those side streets mm -hmm. not park blocking driveways and, and you know we want them to stay at the viewing areas and the main thoroughfares uh where they're just going to get a good view of the eclipse not right. back in a neighborhood All right uh the 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 temperature of this today, we were, we're seeing it. There was some ridiculous hot air balloon and people from California probably coming here and ruining <laughs> things for us all. I uh, thought it was kind of cool. I didn't get to see it in person, but I didn't think it was ridiculous at uh, all. Where was it? I'm with Officer really, Lamb. That, I think that attitude doesn't reflect my <laughs> they're, they're dangerous and uh, they're almost like geologists. But uh, oh. anyway, that's another story altogether. You know, so I much venom a, today. I know. I, ju I jumped out of a lot of different... Uh, uh, aircraft when I was in the military, but I never jumped out of a hot air balloon. Now, the British uh, would jump out of balloons, and that's how they would do some of their jump schools. And what's not known is because there's no forward momentum on a hot air balloon, you have a six second drop oh, wow. uh, before the static line uh, deploys your chute. And I always wanted to get uh, a hot air jump, and I never did. Oh, never man. Got it. Never it's not did. too late. I'm sure you can hire it. <laughs> when was the last time you jumped out of something? You know, I almost got a jump in 2019. Uh, mm -hmm. We were going to jump with the French and uh, get foreign jump wings when I was yeah. deployed to East Africa, but it didn't 
didn't come to pass. My last jump was in 1994. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Mm. That's Time good. for another one. Helicopter 30 or... 30-year uh, celebration. No, no, wait a minute. That, that was my last military jump. Like, oh, man. I went to uh, skydive <laughs> San Marcos <laughs> uh, and did some skydiving yeah. in like oh, the man. early 2000s. But uh, as far as military uh, static line jumps, my last military jump was 94. Wow. I'm just telling you right now that there's two things in this world that I don't want to have to deal with. It's jumping out of something and uh, large lizards or snakes. That's I all. 100% agree. Yeah. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Kate Allen from the Dwell Center here. 100%. Uh, 100%. I'm, like, I'm like Indiana Jones. Snakes. What? Snakes. <laughs> so. I, I see Indiana Jones when I see you. I was thank you. That. Thank you. I, I'm not really, I'm not very, I'm not very rough and I can't take it shot in the head or whatever it is that happened yeah. to me or blown up it's very well. Hat. It's the yep. hat. Gotta or, get him the fedora. I, gotta mm -hmm. get, I have one at home. I'll bring it. Okay. So. Uh, Sergeant Lamb, I know you you're super busy, Gibson's? and we appreciate this <laughs> for very sure. much Absolutely. for being here. So we will we will let you go. Thanks back for to all work. you guys are doing. Are you going to be at the EOC today? Because Buzzies is feeding everybody. Um, yeah, I will uh, off and on. <laughs> yeah. um, off Thanks and on. to Jeff Harris, and and then the next two no. days Aww. and Monday Thank as well, you, and probably yes. through Thursday I'll be right. over there. Uh, and uh, you know, it, I, I know you want to kick me off so you can get other other people <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. but uh, I, I just want to say you know we're spoiled here we don't usually deal with a lot of traffic or long lines and all that's really going to happen is we're going to have some san antonio traffic for the next couple of days you know s sunday and monday you know uh, and then we'll be back to our, back to our normal, normal tuesday uh, we'll be back to normal yep and uh same thing with the stores same thing with our restaurants yeah. and uh I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping for great weather because I want to see this thing. Absolutely. I do, too. I do, too. I really want to yep. see it. Uh, you know what I just realized? What? I got, I'm going to get the chief back. I'm going to bring back a gigantic bag of Reese's peanut butter cups. Okay. He cannot resist them. Oh, good to know. <laughs> good to know. Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time, now, since they kicked me out of my seat at the uh, city council meetings because of George Baruti, uh, <laughs> I... Nice. I I uh, cannot. Um, I, I can't give the chief all the little snacks anymore. Oh, you them. were you were feeding him. Huh? I was. Yeah. So One time he was like really he was <laughs> really thirsty, smart. and we we had to we got to go find my diet Dr Pepper or Dr Pepper. Okay. And he was like, um, you saved my life. So. <laughs> You're telling all his vices today. I know. I know. All we the still, secrets are out. Right. We, still, we still need to figure out if we can get him into a Wookiee costume. I'm going to look for one of those. It's going to be a tall one. I know. I know. So yeah, good luck with that plan. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thanks again. Thank I'm you. Right. Officer, Thank you. Officer Lane, before you leave, I do want to say uh, God bless all of you guys in uniform for what hey, you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. Uh, you know, before a lot of people are thanking me, I'm not doing anything. It's our, it's a, it's a team effort. Our entire KPD team has put in a lot of work. The command staff, the chief, uh, assistant chief uh, Haley, uh, Lieutenant Klein, Lieutenant Morris, Lieutenant Krebs, uh, Lieutenant Maqueda. You know, just worked so hard to, to make this thing a success, and uh, we are we are uh, really blessed to have such a, a fine police department and and uh, a great command staff and a great chief. And I just wanted right. to throw that and out there. Couldn't you just drug C Curtis Thomason back out into like active duty for like you know, the weekend? He, he still shows up, and uh, they've had him do some contract work and oh. a few projects here and there. Uh, so yeah, he he uh, he still is around a All little right. bit. Good. Make the guy do some work. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all again. Thank you. Have all a right. Bye. Brenda Hughes is here. Yes. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Uh, I have a sound bite I want to play for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, while I cue that up, uh, Kate Allen, uh, why, what, what are you, how are you doing? I'm here. I'm just I'm here good. to support Kristen. Oh, good. Good. All right. Uh, Kate, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you, what do you got going on? What am I doing? Yeah. We um, are here. With K-Star, we've got, number one, you can come out to NASA tomorrow, or come out to our pavilion tomorrow and see NASA for the eclipse thing. Yeah, that's out of the that way. That was awesome. We are partnering with K-Star and BACA, Bikers Against Child Abuse, April's Child Abuse Awareness Month. And so we are hosting, we're having a sock hop. We're socking out child abuse. And so we're yeah. going to have the BACA guys are going to drive up to the pavilion on their bikes and have the whole thing. But we're going to have music and food. We've got Chick-fil-A. HEB's donated some stuff. Uh, Vecino's taco Vecino's, truck's going to yeah. be there, but it's going to be a fun time. We've got Sergio and Jenna from K Star to help talk about it. Jenna is uh, new to K Star, and I'm yeah. going to let her. 
Good morning. Um, mm -hmm. I am their new family support specialist, and I'll be planning all of their events as well as doing parenting classes. Okay. For anyone that needs parenting classes, they are free. And um, if you sign up for the parenting classes, we will also offer your free counseling for the parents. Um, it it's looks not like just for the ch children. It looks like you just got off uh, off, off, off a hunting lease. Uh, yeah. Were you out doing some work? <laughs> I think it's cute. just trying to fit. You She's know, dreaming of fall. I'm yeah. new to Kerrville, so yeah. we're fitting in. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's Go pretty good. Go by Gibson. I, yeah. I asked her if she was fixing going to hunt myself. Yeah. <laughs> K-Star does some amazing work. Uh, tell us a little bit about what, what you guys got rest. going on at K-Star. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know, K-Star is an emergency children's shelter. And we pretty much cover anywhere in the state of Texas. We've gotten kids from out of state before, but we, we do our all of our kids in our backyard here. We have a counseling center. Um, we Actually, we have 14 counties that we cover for free family counseling, free parenting classes, and uh, all you need to qualify is to have a child in the home. Yeah. You could have a, you could have a brand new newborn. And you What's the age of the children? It's, it's under 17? 17 to zero. You could have a brand new baby in the home mm -hmm. and you qualify. So women with uh, postpartum depression, um, if there's bullying going on at school, uh, separation in the family have you lost a loved one in the family the, you know we can help you guys out right we have we'll take we'll we'll take in uh, anybody with with family with this with a child with a child in the home and um uh it's free it's free no it's free no charge right and um it doesn't even need to be the child mm -hmm. mom, mom and dad need help you so know that, that qualifies as there's well. there there's been two non three non-profits on the show today mm -hmm. that we wish we didn't well Us too. No, no sorry I'm, you, I'm i'm not forgetting about you qualify this one real quick there's three nonprofits on this that were on the show today that we kind of wish we didn't have to have mm -hmm. right and that's the truth of it like we don't want to have to have right we're grateful that you're here but dang it why do we have to have you know the, the suicide you know prevention thing why do we have to have people who don't take care of their children or abuse their children you know that kind of so, I mean, there's so many things out there that I wish we didn't have to have, but we, I'm grateful that we have. And this is, what, this is what makes Kerrville amazing to me, is that we have all of these, these wonderful nonprofits to try to help solve or combat these issues. And I don't know how you feel about the work that you do, you know, because it's, it's, it's tough, right? Yeah, it is. It's a, I think it's a blessing to be able to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's an honor to be able to take these children and heal them. Yeah. I mean, we get them in in a, in a crisis mode and we get them stabilized and we get them a room and we get the medical attention, op, you know, eyesight, dental, clothing. They usually come in with nothing. Right. And Brenda Hughes, uh, you, one of the things that uh, in your background that you've done for years is uh, working in CASA. Yes, sir. You know, and so you've, you've seen that firsthand. In 12 years now. 12 in, years. You're still oh, there. Wow. Right. So right. Outstanding organization. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so many things here that are really important. What, what brought you to this organization? Um, I'm Wait. new to Kerrville. Tell, and me your, tell me your name again. I got to write them down. I'm Jenna. Jenna? Yes. I'm new to Kerrville, okay. and um, I have a background of doing events, okay. event planning and um, marketing. Okay. And I got in contact with Sergio, thankfully. Yeah. Um, I was really looking for something in this field, and um, I worked in the background, too. I have working with children for eight years prior to this, so um, it's just kind of a God thing yeah. being right. led to them, right. and I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, and absolutely. I mean, that's one of the biggest things is that it is for, for what you're trying to do. The faith component has, has a big part of it as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're healing on all levels. Yeah, uh, Kate. Uh, yes. Again, reiterate your uh, your work here in the community at, at, at Doyle, and you're probably connecting people with services. Yes, that's one of your jobs. Um, does K Star play a role in that? K Star does. We want to do more for the youth here in Kerrville, so we're trying to create new youth programs. And next month, we have a lot. May is Mental Health Month, so we're teaching a mental health first aid class. We are having two resource fairs: one for just all the different resources for K Pub. Uh, behavioral resources, BCFS, and several more. So come out to our parking lot, and it just gives you all the information of what resources are out there. And then we're going to do a mental health for families resource fair on um, May 25th, where we'll have K-Star and as many you know, as many other organizations as we can to help families get the help that they need. And so, you know, at Doyle, we are all about providing resources and helping people get the help they need. 
not just in the district, but all over Kerrville. Exactly, and that's and that's the really the the, the beautiful thing about where we're at with uh, with the Doyle Center and how important the role that plays in the community. Thank you. Uh, again, the event is what Saturday. We have sat this Saturday, tomorrow, you can come out and NASA will be there from 2 to 4 in our pavilion and we'll have activities for kids, art projects, but the next weekend, the 13th, is our event, the Sock Out Child Abuse Sock Hop from 5 to 8. Like I said, we'll have the bikers there, we'll have food, music, and it's just a way to teach how to prevent and hopefully eradicate child abuse and then we probably can't, but we can try. I, I have a funny old, story old about Baca. Go, go, go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. Um, they did an event at the Harley Davidson dealership in San Antonio and they contracted Buzzy to come out there and do a food truck. Mm -hmm. So Buzzy went out there and they had a they had all kinds of auction items and all and, and this sort of thing. And the grand prize was a brand spanking new Harley Davidson motorcycle. Oh cool. Okay. So Buzzy spent all his money and bought all these <laughs> raffle tickets and they had other auction items also. And the next grand prize next to the the Harley Davidson motorcycle was a was a beautiful uh, diamond necklace, and so Buzzy took all of his raffle tickets that he he bought, put them all in the Harley Davidson jug, and he took like one raffle ticket and <laughs> stuck it in the diamond necklace, and. He was just banking he was going to win that motorcycle. And instead, they drew the diamond necklace tickets. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and, and so I got the necklace. Nice. And on the back of the necklace, it says, I mean, it's full of diamonds. And on the back, it says, Guardian of the Children, which Aww. is so Aww. fitting for me. Yeah, you are. Yeah. So, so, yeah, that's uh, that's Sorry, Buzzy, funny. but that's really beautiful. It actually worked out better, Buzzy. <laughs> Sorry. That's Sorry well about done. your left. Sorry. That's, that's it's well called done. God things. <laughs> Okay, so so Saturday, 5 to 8. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Okay. This Saturday is 2 to 4, and that's it. The 13th, after the eclipse. It's okay. AE, after eclipse. April 13th. April 13th from 5 to 8 in our yeah. pavilion at the Doyle Center, 110 West Barnett Street. Okay. And it's open to everybody in Kerrville, but come out and kind of learn what um, K-Star does yeah. and mm -hmm. some of the services that Doyle can provide. But come out and see us, and... It'll be a good time. Okay, I want the K-Star folks to come on again next week. Can you guys do that, Sergio? Absolutely. Uh, how about Thursday? That sounds good. Okay. I'll send you a nice. note. See? <laughs> awesome. I told you. <laughs> he's, he's sucked you in. No, I'm not. Did you mention it's You're one event. of us now. That's right. right that's right. Uh, yeah. No. Th this event it's is a free, free event. She free wanted, event. yeah. Free event, right. Free event. I'm going to make sure we get that up there. I'm, I'm going to talk to my people. We'll talk to your people. We'll get, it, we'll get the people together. <laughs> Y'all are talking right now. Right. Your people are talking right now. Right. I guess I'm the people. <laughs> yeah. I, I okay. do want to mention real quick, uh, we, we K-Star finally, we've been talking about it for a couple of years. We have a thrift store. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. They got some cool stuff Down, in there. Down store, downstairs at the Jam Broadcasting. Yeah, it's just uh, down the street from us. 2521 right. Junction. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, that's another way to support oh, us I think it's because that, that really helps us with uh, operation costs. Food costs have gone through Skyrocketed. the roof. The roof. Yeah. Yep. Yes, and they have. How do people make a donation to the thrift store? Or, uh, yeah. Just, just go. Sh no, no, like if I have stuff that I want to give you to sell. I think for Thursday, I.e., I probably need to clean out my house of stuff. Me too, Thursday, so. Friday, and Saturday, we take donations. You, yeah, okay. okay. There's a schedule large, there at the store. Yes. Okay. If there's if it's a large items like couches and stuff, mm -hmm. we don't have anybody to unload. I'll go if if, you, if we schedule it. I, <laughs> gotcha. I, I go with some help and we unload. So perfect. We're, we're just starting out. We're in our you know our baby stage, but we've gotten a lot of uh, support from the community. It's been amazing. Good. Awesome. All right. Good job, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank we appreciate you. it very much. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna throw you guys out, uh, okay. and you're not gonna want to hear this anyway. So trust me. Uh, <laughs> Probably uh, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank Am you. Am I done? No, no, you. you're not oh, done. You don't get thrown out. <laughs> you don't get thrown out. You, you Bye. Can hear it. Whatever it is. We just endured one of the dumbest uh, controversies oh, uh, of all time. I have okay. a funny Baca story. Do you? Do I probably shouldn't tell this yeah. story. Go ahead. Go ahead. So Baca has been coming to Kerrville for years. Yeah. It's, it's an association that has yes. spent many, many years coming here supporting our child abuse programs. Um, and so some of you might know that we create a convention calendar and it gets mailed out to uh -huh. hundreds of businesses and partners in Kerrville. And one of our team members who was going through a divorce at the time, she called it bikers against child support. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, and no. I didn't see the typo until after it was found. But oh, I did no. laugh really hard, and I went back to no. her, and I was like, hey, they're against child abuse. But yeah. I, get, I get where you're right, coming right, from right, right now, but that's hilarious. Let's, let's send a fixed thing on there. So I still, she doesn't work for us anymore. I still talk to her all the time. I'm always like, you know those bikers against child support. Right. So there, probably is, there yeah. probably is a group yeah. out there for that. She was like, man, was that a Freudian thing or yeah. what? Right. You know, when you're going through all of that in your own personal life, you're like... Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so we we did apologize to them that we got their so name wrong. Funny. All right. Um, I'm gonna throw this up here on the uh, screen Mistakes here. Mistakes happen. Th- 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 all th- right. Th- this is interesting to me. Yesterday, <laughs> all the campaign finance reports came out, uh, except for Brent Bates. Not surprising. Uh, and this this graph indicates where the money was spent. Uh, Barbara Duell Ferguson and Roman Garcia spent 83% of their money outside of Kerr County, uh-huh. mostly with Austin-based and San Antonio-based print shops. A hundred percent. Well, it's like 99.999% uh-huh. of the money because there was $29 that Joe Herring spent on, uh, on uh, I think he, he bought checks for, you know, the, to write checks. So they had to buy it oh. from someplace in New Braunfels. And uh, that was the only out-of-town yep. expenditure of hey, the year I trio. believe in shopping local. Right. That's it. And That's your, most of your money went to Quick Signs. Yes. I will qualify this by saying that Joe Herring got, his business got about 1200 bucks, which really isn't that much money in the ultimate Mm-mm. scheme of things. Mm-mm. But that money all stayed inside of Kirk County. Yep. Their money went outside of Kirk County. Okay. Now, that's one thing we're going to talk about. Uh, the other one I just want to play for you guys is this little charming soundbite that I. Uh, oh, sorry, not on you. Not on you. Uh, we're gonna wear earmuffs for for you. Uh, uh, all right, wait a minute. Let me find my. Let me find it for you guys. Can I have some earmuffs. Uh, yes. We just had the uh, the f- the big uh, issue with the well with with the slide ordinance, and here is a clip. Here's a clip we had that was on April or August eighth of last year and I didn't realize like I I can't remember if I wasn't at this meeting because in August I did travel to California I don't remember this at all and let me play it for you I probably don't remember it either we'll we'll do do what we can for as much of it as we can (laughs) Uh, regular business has to come first Mm -hmm. regular business items you know cleaning up all these ordinances that we need to if it's acceptable to you we can take it back to staff and come back at the next meeting and s- start working out some some timelines. The new city manager, when when the, if when. Okay, I made a little mistake here. I, I apologize. Let me go back to the, the full video for a second here, so you can hear this. Uh, let me go back to the full video. Um, Roman Garcia was the one that brought up the ordinance issue with uh, the peddlers ordinance. Mm-hmm. It was his. It was his idea to bring it up. And here we go. Let me play this for you guys. So what is it you would like to prioritize right now? So if you've got three or four out of there that you feel are uh, important that we look at immediately. Okay. Um, one was the solicitation slash panhandling ordinance. I think we've gotten a lot of concern from citizens about that. So I'd at least like to see what that would look like. You can consider that. Do we have a second on that, Council? I'll, I'll second it. Okay. okay, all right. We have a second on that. All in favor? And can I be clear? I'm not saying this needs to come up at our next meeting. Like, after budget is fine, but if we can get those assigned to date soon. Okay, so. all in favor of the panhandling? All right. Yeah, I think it's so. So, so here, here's, the, here's the beauty of this, this piece of this, right? Is that the narrative there was a suggestion that this needs to be looked at, Mm -hmm. that panhandling and solicitors, not canvassers, solicitors and panhandling is a problem. Mm -hmm. And that citizens are talking about this. Right. Fast forward to this last bit, and the chief gets up and says, here's the deal. Uh, Panhand, I go, this is a great, he's like, this is a good ordinance that we're going to put to put forward. It gives us tools in the toolbox to deal with possible problems in the future. Right. That same council member said, I don't see a problem. Mm-hmm. But August 8th of 2023, he's saying, some people are saying to me, there's a problem. Mm-hmm. 
And you point out, too, that, well, the reason why it wasn't on the, uh, the priorities list was because you focused your time on rearranging the, the, the chairs inside of the council chamber, right? Right, right. How does that make you feel? Because you guys just went through a very difficult period here uh, with this guy to make sure that he, and, and it was contentious. Yes. Um, I am working on the pending agenda list. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that are on the pending agenda list. Yeah. My focus, of course, is safety and security. Yeah. So uh, I'm working on new animal ordinances, which right. will go before council this next meeting. And um, I, I try not to get too frustrated mm -hmm. with the stuff that's going on, what's being said, what's being done, right. what's... Um, you know, there, there's there's just stuff that I can control and stuff I can't, right. and and I just have to I just have to focus on why I'm there and what I feel needs to be done that that is in the best interest of our community. Right, and but it's but when you hear that soundbite, mm -hmm. and this was a rare thing that happened, where yeah. um, you and Joe are like, oh God, he's talking again. <laughs> and uh, I hate to say it, but a lot of times it's like you guys are so frustrated with his his grandstanding mm. and his bullying of, of folks on the on the dais, especially city staff, because he was the one that told my case. I don't understand why we brought this. Why is this being brought up now? Right. Right. Well, because you put it on the agenda. Right. Right. And um, I, I got a note from a from a reader this morning. Like, were you aware of this? And I was like, I don't remember this at mm -hmm. all. And I went back and I looked and I was like, watch the video. I was like, holy smokes, where was I? Was <laughs> I even there? You uh, were probably in California. I probably was. I was dealing with some, some family issues and I, and I did have a trip, but I don't remember if it was that. It was, anyway, long story short, it's a, real, it's a real indicator of the political immaturity of this particular candidate. So, I mean, you've been in politics. Uh, Kristen Hedger, I mean, how does that uh, how does that to, how does that sound to you? Political immaturity or just general immaturity yeah. is mm -hmm. kind of how it sounds. Yeah. I mean, just um, kind of a a flip flopper. Yeah, and a, perhaps just a, a lack of respect for others who are mm -hmm. really genuinely trying, like as Brenda says, to put the community first, mm -hmm. be effective, yeah. and efficient. Right. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting one as we hit in this, this very tough mayoral race. Uh, we pointed out a, a slew of inconsistencies um, from the position. What makes this particular this campaign finance one particularly ironic is, I'm pulling it up again here, is the fact that uh, we, the people of Liberty in Action, chastises you uh -huh. for having these out-of-town interests, but they're going to be silent on the fact that these guys spend 83% of their camp, it's almost $6,000, uh -huh. were spent outside of Kerr County. Right. Have they ever been asked for comment on that? Do they have? A, what are they going to say? You know. Well, is there a reason? I mean, do they have any? No, they're they're just. I mean, they're looking for the cheapest way possible. That's what they're doing. So. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, I think we should celebrate candidates who spend locally. So yeah. My feeling on Roman Brenda. Garcia is pretty simple. Uh, Roman Garcia is, uh, and I'm, uh, this is my editorial p opinion on this thing. He's not. He's not truthful. He's deceitful. And um, he's he's attacked the media. Uh, there's a rumor. There's a rumor. There's a there's a storyline out there from his supporters that the the website thing was not his. That it was it was manufactured by somebody else to make him look bad on the degree thing. We know that's not true. Right. Um, we have we have. There's a digital footprint there, <laughs> folks. There's di there's digital. There's when you do stuff online, it doesn't go away automatically. It's always. There's always evidence of it somewhere. Uh, he's, his reaction to Rosa Lavender um, was shockingly disrespectful uh -huh. and proved that he is incapable of being truthful on, on things. We've caught him in lies numerous times in the um, city council meetings. Uh, I mean, the biggest one was this little Secretary of State thing that he had back when this the ludicrous discussion about the elections in 2022, uh, or was it, yeah, it's 2022, that led to this ridiculous ethics complaint against Bill Blackburn. Because mm -hmm. Bill Blackburn was fed up with George Baruti's ridiculous comments. And, and who supports George Baruti on that? Roman Garcia. 
So, enough. Right? I, I just got to walk away from it. Got to walk away from it. Right? <laughs> I'm going to get out of there. Uh, but you did a great job, by the way, on the uh, on the Gibsons video. Oh, thanks. Yes. Putting on my hat. Putting on your hat. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> That was a fascinating video. Uh, the, the CBS one too um, got a lot of traction for us yeah. online. Did you guys share that video on your on your socials? I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right. Okay. What did if you learn? If not, it's maybe in the mix. Uh, have, yeah. Believe it or not, we've been really busy. I know. I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a point more than once yesterday that six staff, six full time staff members. We're directly talking to human being, beings in the visitor center, helping them, and there were still at least six people mm -hmm. having to wander on their own in their minimum, yeah. let alone wow. if the phone rang. Wow. Right. And so to actually know. stop and like put something on a website or what, I mean, it has yeah. been wild. wild. We're, but we're yes. trying. You're trying. Well, and I don't know <laughs> where <laughs> Jack comes up with this, oh, we're just going to have a few people from San Antonio, because let me tell you what, social media is talking about all the yeah, Russians. Yeah, well, they're going to drive from Australia. San Antonio. Right. Yeah. Right. He right. just means that's where they're starting on right, that day. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, almost everyone this week that I've talked to, actually everyone I think I've talked to, it's either been a local coming to buy merchandise or they've been from Washington, California, yeah. all over, yeah. all over, all over, which all is really over. cool. Yeah. And many of them came to Texas <laughs> for over an entire week. They brought their families. And so they've come to Kerrville a couple of days, er, you know, earlier in the week, scope things out. Mm -hmm. Then they have plans to travel around Texas on like vacation, going yeah. to Fort Worth, seeing the stockyards, all mm -hmm. of that. And then they'll come back Saturday and Sunday. So it's neat to see people turn this into mm -hmm. like, it, total complete just a experience. experience yeah, yeah. and they're yeah. they want to experience texas as a whole so uh my two friends who are my age that we all went to high school together and elementary school together they're coming out you know probably on saturday or sunday and uh you know i was, I was texting him i said okay you know we're all men of a certain age now what are your dietary restrictions because i know you two are diabetic so i don't do gluten uh, Zero nep distilled water for all the CPAPs. Exa yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I should buy. I should. That's, that's true. I know. I know. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I've seen men travel. Yeah. 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 yeah right. Yeah. Uh, do I have enough toilet paper? I mean, all that uh -huh. kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that yeah, as well. Yeah, it'll what be it, fun. Okay, we had ten show, ten guests on the show today. Is that all? Yeah, no, actually, more. <laughs> you and Andrew don't count, but right. twelve all together. Okay. What did you learn today? Oh. <laughs> You're like. I You're learned that if that the three lanes will not go past my office. I thought the three lane, like the turn lane thing, went all the way yeah. to I-10. So I did learn that. I did learn that. I was okay. kind of looking forward to watching yeah. three lanes go by, but I you know, I, I was, I'll just would, get two. <laughs> um, well, it'll be interesting to see from your office will be what what it looks like getting on the freeway. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a front row seat. Chris and Hedger, what did you learn today? Inspired by the excellence of the show. <laughs> there you go. Uh, absolutely. And, uh, just vote for Joe Herring. Vote yep. for Brenda. Right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Brenda, what did you learn today? That they're restocking moon pies at Gibson's. Yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> no. right. Those moon pies, that's a good idea. Right. That was really right. cool. Yeah. That was it really, cool. Is. really cool. Did idea. you see Joe Herring's? Close yes. signs. Yeah. Yeah. Is that not the most awesome you. thing? And the it. end of the hills sent me a picture yesterday of what they're doing for their guests, um, and it's it's really thoughtful and fun. They've got this like welcome <laughs> basket with sun chips and all this cool yep. stuff. So right. people are getting into it, and I love it. Right. Uh, it, it's very cool. You know this this whole thing of uh, this this sort of community party that we're going to have. Yeah. Yesterday, I was here at Pine and Plow, and all the team from the Kerbal Folk right. Festival were here having having their pre-meal, their yeah. pre-game, their pre-night yeah. meal uh, together before they have to be really locked into the working. In, in, working all week. Uh, and we, all the businesses doing special Eclipse-themed things, yeah. Yeah. you know, whether it's... You know, and I here, can't think of here's the other thing, too. I know, off-main and basement. Another, you know, I was talking about a lot of I'm proud about living here, is that when we have the national media... You know, we've had CBS, we've had we've had mm -hmm. we've had NBC. NBC yeah. Has Fox News sniffed around? Have we seen Fox no, News? Yeah. Not at the national. Of course not. Uh, they politicized it. Well, there's an eclipse coming and the blues. Anyway, never mind. Um, but it was so great to see Doug. Mm -hmm. Did a great job. Mm -hmm. uh, Judy did a great job. Fabulous. You did a great job tying yeah. your hat on. Jonathan uh, Peterson and Sarah, Sarah DeRoso did a great job on CBS this morning, and Mayor Judy Eichner just like. Like, she's like a natural. I know. I know. She's so, done natural. so good. Right, right. And, I, and here's the thing I love about this, though, is that is that it just shows off our town as like 
warm, inviting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it definitely did that. And, and the, the, the video mm-hmm. that both CBS and NBC showed, I mean, highlighted Arcadia, highlighted the river. Like, why yeah. would you not want to come to Kerrville? Exactly. Yeah. And this little bit of rain we've mm-hmm. had recently, we were able to actually, yes. you know, look yeah. pretty, too. Right. <laughs> and Joe Herring did a good job, too. Joe well, Herring did, did a great job. Herring did a, yeah. 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 Joe, Joe Herring did a magnificent yeah. job. Uh, so there, there you go. All right. Fun uh, times. Fun times. Nice. We, we, well, love we didn't it. talk about any of the events, but there's a ton going on. So I will go send check my, it all I'm out. I'm going to send my email out of all events here um, later. And it's on Eclipse.com has the traffic plans that yes. Sergeant Lamb was talking about. Yes. It has all the events. It has available lodging. We're putting up probably not necessary who's open restaurant list because almost everyone's open. Right. Everyone's uh, I mean, it's not. Right. We, yeah. However, they'll be working. We are, yeah. yeah. We, we um, will be at the park and we are offering but parking the, spaces. The vast majority of <laughs> everyone we've talked to, you, you'll be able to find food all weekend. And several yeah. have decided to open Sunday that normally aren't yeah, Sunday. Yeah, rails and Cadoba. Rails and grape juice. Grape juice, right. Um, several boutiques have decided to be open Sunday. So there'll be plenty to get out and go do mm. for locals. Don't yeah. don't just stay home this don't weekend. Don't stay home. Get go out a little fun. bit. There's so it's going to be th- fun. I mean, just I today alone, you know, go, go to... Shriner uh, and oh yeah there's so much going on over yeah there. Kim Arviston uh, the uh, the astronomy professor over there right. Dr. Kim Arviston he's so good he's doing a speech a, a talk at four o'clock yeah. today oh and NASA's doing different presentations yeah. all over town like take advantage of that yeah. opportunity how often yeah. do you get to and do that here and if you don't want to be around Texas. people just get on bull feathers yeah let's bull do that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that might be yeah. the best place to watch the eclipse yeah I mean friends. if you have Absolutely. an e-bike ride it around yeah. ride a regular bike right. around it's gonna be fine nice for e-bike riding that's right <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys again Monday. Here's a programming note for you. We'll be live again at nine from nine to ten for the regular show, but then at noon we kick off our big live stream for the eclipse. We'll have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys again on Monday. Have a great weekend too, by the way. Enjoy the weather. Thanks. Peace.